Slipstreaming your car. If you've ever been out to any of the hyper miler, and those are the people that are interested in getting as many miles per gallon on your car as possible forums, they talk about slipstreaming your car, or sometimes it's called gapping your car. I prefer slipstreaming. But slipstreaming is essentially taking and putting a gasket around all of the spaces on your car where there is a gap to be filled. And because there was a pretty good deal on the all climate weather strip, weather, rubber weather seal at Home Depot, uh, I picked it up. It was buy one, get one free, which I thought was odd, but I'm in Phoenix, so that cold weather stuff just probably doesn't sell as well. So this is 10 feet of 516 by 1930 seconds uh, rubber seal. And it's got an adhesive on the back. And literally all you have to do is every place that you have a seam, you cut a piece to the size of the seam, peel it back off, and stick it on your car. And when you're done, you have you know, this nice rubberized all-weather seal that prevents the air from getting in under those gaps, so you get better fuel economy. And I can't say that I can see the difference in the fuel economy. It hasn't been so amazing, but my car gets pretty good gas mileage to begin with and is pretty aerodynamic to begin with. But what I did notice is it cuts the wind noise down a lot because what happens is the air that would have gone in this gap now it doesn't, and so the bit of plastic here that would have moved in the wind as you're going down the highway, there doesn't move because there's no gap and because it's a tighter seal. And same with the, the metal of the hood. The, the hood doesn't deform and flex as much. And so there's basically zero noise from wind noise since I made the change. Like, uh, about the only thing I could do more to reduce the wind noise is take off the windshield wipers. And I'm not quite willing to do that, even though I'm in Phoenix and probably could, or I could just throw them in the back of the car. But um, I really did this because I thought, oh, it'd be an interesting experiment to see whether it would work or not. Um, and like I said, I was out 10 bucks to do it. And it actually turned out that it makes the car a lot quieter. and. You know, it's a Mini Cooper, so it wasn't very loud to begin with in the cabin, but probably it's the difference between driving a Pontiac and driving a BMW. You know, when you drive a BMW, there's a lot less road noise, and that's the kind of feel. Like, this took it from not quite BMW to past BMW in terms of what the road noise quality is. Um, that'd be better if I hadn't changed out my air filter because I still get that turbo spool noise that I can hear. Um, but the relationship with hearing the road as opposed to hearing the wind and hearing the engine has gotten a lot better. So I've been really happy with it for $10 uh, and I still have lots left over. It was a good deal.